Welcome Taurus, I'm Juanita and today we're going to be looking at the next two weeks for you so whenever you find this video is when the messages are applicable. Okay, um, in saying that it may not resonate with everybody. Okay, so the Sacred Forest Oracle, uh, the deck that will is the deck that we'll be using today and Osho Zen Tarot, uh, our clarification cards which... Um, I was like, maybe I should change it up a bit, but with my clarification, but, you know, I have uh, a good rapport with the Osho Zen, so we're going to keep going with that, because it just helps to get the messages through for you, and um, that's the most important thing, is to help you. Okay, so let's have a look. First card up is Hummingbird Spirit Joy. Very nice. Look at this. Um, I feel like, Taurus, this is about Okay, I'm, sorry, just getting a couple of things here um, First of all, like with the hummingbird I always think of the hummingbird when they flutter their wings And they go really, really, really fast It's like there's this um, space around you that needs clearing Okay, so whether that's directly around you or in your home or your workplace or wherever you spend the most time is the area that you need to cleanse, okay? And I mean energetically on an energetic level. So you could get some sage, you could get um, a selenite wand and just wave it around over you. Um, whatever you feel, you know, you could have a look on... YouTube or Google ways to clean spaces. Um, the other thing with this Aries, it's sorry, I should probably let you have a good look at that, is to um, also allow yourself to find joy in everything. Okay, even if things are a bit hard right now or there's some kind of change that you're going through or some challenges. Um, I feel as though you need to look for the joy, um, even in the smallest everyday things, you know, even if it's that you're doing the dishes or whatever, you know, find joy in the fact that the dishes are getting done or the dishes are getting clean, whatever, you know, just, um, you know, you might want to listen to your favorite song while you're doing that or yeah, um, yeah, we've got completion here. So maybe this is the beginning of something new. No something's ending something's ending or has ended maybe you're at a bit of a crossroads right now Taurus but, wow okay sorry Taurus blowing my mind already and we're only on the first three cards completion and new like this is the end of something massive and then the beginning of something even more massive wow so okay sorry just let me get myself together here having faith of this beginning because I feel like maybe this ending may have shaken you up a bit or um, even if it was an ending you've chosen it's like you're in this space right you're in the space of what next okay and what I want you to appreciate here Taurus is that you have you have this part of your life that has been completed or has just been completed and you have the beginning of something new in your life, this leap of faith or, you know, and in between here, and sorry, I can't hold the two cards and then, like, how am I going to do this? Okay, let's do it like this. Okay, in between here, this selenite wand here is the bridge. This is a bridge from the completed part of your portion of your life to the new beginning. And right now, Taurus, you're on the bridge or you're about to step on the bridge okay 
So this is about finding joy in that. It's about finding joy in the fact that you can now look at what it, what do I want to create? What is that going to look like? Start to have some fun with it. Start to get excited about it. Some of you, it feels like it could feel a little bit like of a burden um, and, and understandably so. Okay, just try to change that around because you want to think about what it is that you want to create. You don't want to create more burden. You want to create something joyful. Okay, next we have stag spirit leadership. Pew! Another cool moment. Wow. Wow. Really coming up. Let's see, this is what I feel like. Is a stag is coming up out of the darkness here and rising up into the light to be not just seen, but to be um, shone upon. Really embracing that power of leadership. Okay, really embracing this power that you have within you. Um, I feel like some of you maybe aren't standing in your power, potentially. The dream. You have a dream. This is you. Maybe you don't really feel like you have the power to fulfill that dream. Maybe that dream's just ended for some of you. Have innocence here as well. I feel like, Taurus, this is about maybe you, no matter how much power you have within you uh, that's not the right way to put it I know what it is but I'm just trying to get it into words here because it's like this power represents this master and this person who has gathered all knowledge for example that there is to gather even though that isn't actually really possible because there's always something to learn but this master here, he has the grasshopper on his hand and he knows that the grasshopper has something to teach him. Okay, so he's not sitting here um, exerting his power over the grasshopper and saying, no, now you listen here, I've got something to teach you. This is him allowing the grasshopper space to shine its light and show him what the grasshopper knows because he knows the grasshopper has knowledge that he hasn't yet discovered. Okay, so this, I feel, is really quite important. It could be somebody in your life who you may think wouldn't be able to guide you or advise you on something, uh, but they may have a bit of knowledge that will help you with this, this power to help you step into this, maybe, or to help you be shone upon because I feel like that's the key to the card it's not about you shining your light it's about allowing yourself to be shone upon hmm interesting and I'm not even getting anything else with that that's all I'm getting be shone upon miracles oh I like this miracles see this is coming up out of this darkness here Okay, and like after a, a storm, the rainbow appears, right? So this is you coming up. You are the rainbow, I feel. This is representative of, maybe this is about softening this power of the stag of it, potentially for some of you. Let's have a look. Let's have a look what miracles say but you know i do feel like it's important for you to wow to believe in miracles to accept that miracles can happen okay and maybe this is what the grasshopper is teaching him that miracles can happen because grasshoppers can talk now <laughs> and communicate well that's a miracle right um you know that miracles can happen you can have the dream yeah um by staying and remaining in the darkness, in the darkness, this will not allow you to be shone upon in order for your dream to come to fruition. 
nothingness and silence. Um, this is really about you going into the utter silence of the nothingness. Okay, Taurus, have a look on YouTube. Look for videos, okay, that will help you with um, actually getting into this space, okay? Meditations. Um, this is by doing this Taurus this is so that you can actually allow miracles to be created in your life um, to allow this new beginning to take place Pegasus transcending look at this look at on the back of the card it's the same on the front how exciting See, when that happens, like, I get pretty excited, or if it's on the front of the box, like, I get pretty excited if that comes up. And I, I don't know why, but I feel like it's significant, and I feel like just now it has come to me that it's significant because it's actually putting more weight on the card to listen to the message of the card. I mean, all of it's important, but it's even more important. Does that make sense? So this is about... <sighs> See, I just really feel like some of you don't believe in miracles and I feel as though that if you could just believe in miracles, you're going to surpass what, what expectations you may have. The expectations that you, you have for your life will, could be absolutely blown out of the park if you just believed that it was possible. Um... With with you need with this nothingness and silence here, I feel like that is actually to help clear your space. Okay, that's one way of doing it. Actually, clearing this mind chatter um, so that you can transcend. Because I feel as though what's maybe holding you back from rising up, not not just out of the darkness, but through through the roof actually it, not just into the light but through the roof to be the light in a sense um is actually what is going on in here that you're putting these limitations on yourself and not allowing yourself to rise up i can't do it because this needs to happen and this person needs to be taken care of or you know um this is going to get in the way or you know whatever it is Taurus, you know what your situation is and how that applies, if it applies. Okay, um, yeah, this is important for you to believe this can happen. Lovers, this is important for you to believe you can have this dream. This is getting yourself out of one way of thinking and into another to believe that the what appears impossible to you or what you think is impossible is actually possible. It's the, it's actually the fact that you think it's impossible which is stopping it from be becoming possible. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I wish I could remember your last reading. Thunderbolt. Blow those thoughts out of your head. Um... Okay, why is Thunderbolt here in this? I'm not sure what this message is here. Nothing's coming, nothing's coming. Aloneness. I mean, this is, you know, about... Um, sudden changes in our lives, unexpected changes um, that absolutely disrupt our entire life. Um, it could also be planned type changes, but it could be a, quite a disruption. The thing with the Thunderbolt is that it um, allows us that things can't fall down if they have a solid foundation, okay? And um, this allows us to build an to build a solid foundation. So this is what this is about. This is about looking at what it is you need to do in your life um, or for yourself, in your mind maybe, to clear some belief systems or some thoughts potentially 
um, that's only one example, um, so that you can actually build the dream that you dream of, okay? So that you, because yeah, there's this, um, the, the sense of trying to build something upon a foundation which either is non-existent or is incredibly flimsy, okay? Um, it's not solid at all, okay? And just knowing the see you have the power within you to actually lead the way to do that. You actually know, you, you need to tap into this. This is this silence and the no thingness. This is what needs to be tapped into, okay? But maybe for some of you, you're focusing on this so much that uh, this is unable to come through. This light within you is unable to be shone. I'm going to put this card back in the deck, though, because that wasn't really part of that. Okay, so I'll check it out. Important message. Important message alert. <laughs> Just the same with this. Important message alert. <laughs> right? Like, Taurus, this is really important. It's important, but not just important, it's really important. See if I got that through yet? Okay, ancient oak spirit strength. You have the strength. You have the strength. Taurus, I don't even know what else to add to that. What else am I getting from that, though? Let's have a look. Is there anything else? There's definitely... This door is open. I thought it was closed. I've always thought it was closed. I never noticed it was open and the light is shining from inside. That's what the aloneness card was showing. Oh, I've put it back now, but it's that light, that guiding light is coming from inside of you. Okay, it's like there's this feeling of looking for the light outside of you to lead the way, but it's actually within you. Maybe you're looking for external things to show you what it is that needs to be done or the best path to take, right? Because maybe you're starting on this new path, but you're not quite sure which path to take and you're just waiting for someone to come or something to be shown to you, but it's actually in here and you know deep, 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 deep down what it is, okay? But you're so busy comparing yourself to others and what path they're on and what their life looks like that you... Uh, suppressing the possibilities of what could be. Bam. Next, Standing Stones Passage. Oh, I love this. This is, oh, man, Taurus, you got me whew, bursting. <laughs> But I'm excited, I'm excited, like I feel like the message is so strong, I can't even get it through, and like I want to jump in through the camera and be like, can you hear it? <laughs> um, yeah, see this is your, this is your rite of passage, I feel, this is because, I say this because, well I don't say it only because of this, but this is telling me why it's the, your rite of passage, because these are major arcanas. You've finished a, not just a small cycle in your life, but a major one, and you're beginning another major cycle. These are life-changing events, both of them, and the Thunderbolt is too. This was a life-changing event, and so is the Lovers. Have we got any others here? Let me have a look. No thingness life changing get, get into this space Taurus and this will change your life for real for good for the positive we also have this is another major arcana right to be able to put yourself aside and take it's kind of this thing of being humble and, and, and learning from every little 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 thing no matter how insignificant it appears, it is still there. Maybe it is the most insignificant that will teach you the most. Maybe. Right, you've got all these cards. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six already. And we're halfway through. Like, this is massive. Okay, so, yeah. So this... 
as I was saying, is your rite of passage, okay? And I feel as though um, it's a matter of, like, maybe for some of you, you've been in the dark for a bit, like I was saying with the stag, um, because you've been having, standing behind the stone, okay? And it's only just now that, hang on, I'm getting two things here. It could be for some of you, it could be that you're still standing there looking at the stone and you need to step. You need to step, you know, out from behind the stone. Some of you have stepped out from behind the stone and about to walk forth. Okay, so yeah. But um, the, it's like the path is, the, the way is, is lit in. <sighs> yes. Oh my gosh, Taurus, this is amazing. By... Allowing yourself to be shone upon allows the passage to be litten. Okay, it allows the passage to um, to shine so that you know the way to go. And you'll know that with what's in here, with what by how you're feeling, you'll know. You'll know, Taurus, if it doesn't feel right. That's not where you want to go. Even if you think, oh, well, it's probably the best thing to do because this is what I need to do right now. No, uh, 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 uh. you've got to listen to this because there is something that is right there, right there waiting for you. And it, you, it will absolutely surpass anything you could ever dream of. Okay, it will. Because, yeah, it will surpass anything you could ever dream of because you've got the dream and then you've got the lovers, right? This is way better than the dream. This is living it, okay? So, yeah. Whoops. Sorry. Let's get hold of the cards. I'm making such a mess with the cards here already. <laughs> I don't even know which belongs to which, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Turning in. Yep, again, turning in. To calm the emotions. To calm the chatter, okay? Because this is what is getting in your way. It's like... Your, your, your mind chatter is causing these emotions of anxiety and causing you to not really know. It's like, how do I know what feels right when it all just feels like a big, um, you know, scary anxiety ball? Um, and so this is where turning in um, and, and going into this space here okay is so important and this is why these came out together and i'm pretty sure they came out together with the miracles right i don't know it's all such a bit of a it's all yeah all over the shop but anyway um you know this will make miracles happen for you this is the way to make it happen by going in okay um trust at the bottom here love that okay anyway one more card taurus this is pretty cool. Postponement. Okay. Oh, so we've got, okay, so you just need to take a moment. Okay. So before you step forth, you just need to take a moment. And just like this lady here, she's stepped out from behind the stone here, but she's not actually walking. No, her feet are in together here, and she's just observing. So right now, maybe this is just what you need to do. You need to just take a moment Okay, to practice going into the silence, to turn in. Turn in and just let this no thingness take over for a bit. Because what's going to happen by doing that is this here feels like the dream. Okay, this feels like the dream. So by actually just taking a moment here, Taurus, you're going to... Allow yourself, because as you can see, okay, let me just try to explain this properly. As you can see here on this person's shirt, right, this here is um, what is in their heart. This is what is in their heart, because they can see what it is they want to create, okay, and so this is what is in their heart. This is what this is telling me, okay, so in order to actually have this come to life, it is a matter of holding it in your heart as a constant state of being. And how do we do this? We go into the nothingness and into the silence, okay? And we turn in 
to quieten everything down here, the emotions and the mind chatter, that do not reflect this. Okay? That do not reflect this. And this is how we make this come to fruition. We give up the comparison. We give up the comparison and we go in the space in between. Okay? And allow that all to silence. It's like starting a new, if you were about to start a new book, you're not going to get paper that's already been written on, are you? You're going to get a blank sheet of paper. And this is what needs to happen. You need to blank. This is your blank sheet for no thingness. Okay? So yeah, this is going to get you walking on this passage which is destined for you okay which is your right of passage wolf spirit family well okay soul family i'm getting from this this is about your soul family other thing I'm getting from this Taurus is that if by doing this this is going to be the best thing that you could ever do for your family um, because this is going to teach your family and when I'm talking family this could be friends this could be anyone around you okay um, this is going to teach them to to bring forth their own consciousness because um, this is a new beginning in truth Okay, and this um, is this is super super exciting. I'm glad this has come up. This is about really not just a new beginning in truth. This is about you stepping into your truth and living your truth, the truth of who you are. Okay, um, not what you are, but who you are, which resides in here. It's not what you do on the outside. It's not what you have on the outside. It's who you are, Taurus. One more for family, for wolf spirit. Some of you may have um, wolves as animal spirit guides. So have a look at that. If you, like often, you know, if that resonates for you, have a look at that. Look that up. Awareness, this internal awareness, bringing this out. Bringing it forth, okay, letting it lead the way, um, not keeping this in the shadows anymore. Meandering pathway, flow. Here's this pathway again, right? Oh, and this is like the aloneness card. This is exactly the same thing. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. This is just reiterating that message for you, okay? Um, you have this light. You have this light. You see how he's standing here, right? He has this light, but there is this light here. And it it's kind of streaming down towards him. He is being shone upon by the light. And how did this light find him? From his him shining his own lights. Yes, Taurus, yes. Love that transformation. This is you rising up out of the ashes. You have all the tools. You have everything you need here. You can do this. You ab absolutely can do this. Letting go. Yes, letting go. Realizing too that letting go creates this ripple effect and it actually um, permeates out, right? It's not... Um, it... it clears it's this is this cleansing again it clears the way for you to be able to yeah see to be able to create create this flow for you to walk along this path um which i was gonna say smoothly but there are going to be some patches along the way that are going to be rough but you have the tools to get through them and every step you take taurus is going to give you another tool and another tool and another tool, which is why it's really important for you to be aware and have joy 
of every step and, and even those really insignificant things remember that I was talking about before with the grasshopper um, learning from all those things because this, this is going to give you everything you need to walk this path eagle spirit freedom <gasps> and there's a pegasus horse over here again Right, surpassing what it is that you think is possible, okay? And this will give you freedom, this power of the eagle stepping into this Taurus. Wow, what a card, man. Sorry, let me I'll give you a good gander at that. Look at that. Wow, that's incredible, isn't it? I just love that. Freedom, man. And I think this is what you've always wanted. This is what you've always wanted is this freedom. Um, yep. Yep. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Freedom. Look at this. This has been you. This has been you. Your hands have been tied. Your heart's been caged in. You haven't been able to see the, the you know, beyond the clouds of, beyond the clouds of, these thoughts okay all this here so it's time to take the blindfold off uncage the heart free your hands and go forth okay and last Katie card here breakthrough this is going to be the breakthrough that you need okay so what are you doing over the next two weeks Taurus you are finding meditations or videos or something along these lines to get yourself into the nothingness Okay, to get yourself to turn in. You're just taking a moment to turn in to go into the silence. Okay, so, and, and this is going to help this light shine um, inside of you so that it can lead the way. And then what's going to happen in turn is the light is going to come down on you and you will be shone upon. Taurus, exactly what you deserve in your life. Exactly what you deserve. Okay, Taurus, good luck with that. And... Um, yeah, just be in that restful peace for now. Okay, Taurus, take care. See you. Bye-bye.